Hi, today we'll be talking to one of our experts at Chakri about Azure Integration Services, its components and uses. Stay tuned and watch the rest of this video for interesting insights. Can you give me a general overview of Azure Integration Services? Uh, yeah, well, long story short, um, Azure Integration Services is uh, Microsoft's suite of uh, cloud-based uh, tools and services for the development of integrations between um, individual systems and applications, um, as well as the initial deployment, uh, sorry, the initial development of applications to connect to organizations, uh, automate data flows and optimize processes. It uh, supplements the ongoing management and scalability of uh, these solutions as well. What are the components of Azure Integration Services? Um, well, I think that the key ones that um, we've been making use of are uh, API management, which uh, provides an API gateway that you can uh, expose to external systems, uh, your clients, etc. Uh, Logic Apps, which uh, essentially provides you a, a workspace to, um, you know, uh, orchestrate data flows and uh, connect uh, other Azure tools and external components. Um, event Grid, which is an event streaming solution and um, Azure Service Bus, which enables you to uh, publish and subscribe to um, Service Bus topics and um, also to queues. Are there any integration patterns or practices you follow while implementing Azure Integration Services? My personal experience when working with Azure has generally involved building API facades and solutions based on event-driven architecture. Um, so one thing that Azure does have is a good selection of services to help decouple the functionalities you're working on from one another, um, which is of uh, a lot of use to both ourselves and our clients. Um, for us, because decoupled functionality is a continuous development and uh, they isolate failures. So in other words, it means we can work on uh, specific services without any changes that are committed ne negatively affecting the solution as a whole, uh, while a failure to a service is uh, less likely to impact others. And for our clients, uh, this approach provides them with a sort of a front facing interface that masks the complexities of what's going on uh, under the hood. Um, so you know, given the substantial amount of data processing that our work entails, um, avoiding tight coupling and reducing the client's exposure to um, the underlying solution that we're developing um, are both. Uh, what is the purpose of Logic Apps and how does it differ from Azure Functions? Um, Logic Apps is uh, Azure's cloud solution for uh, creating automated workflows. Um, I'd say for the most part, it enables you to carry out similar functionalities to what you might expect to use Azure Functions for. Um, maybe one of the main differences being that um, uh, you might use Azure Functions to carry out a smaller piece of functionality that doesn't require so much uh, orchestration. Uh, whereas um, Logic Apps is probably more suitable for um, uh, larger payloads. Um, but I'd say the, one of the key differences from a development perspective is the uh, Logic Apps user interface. Um, so it's, it's a low-code slash no-code solution uh, through which you configure and populate actions to process data. Um, ultimately, what you wind up with once it's uh, all said and done, you've, you've built a logic app is uh, rather than having a block of, block of code, you've essentially got a workflow which clearly displays the actions taken to uh, achieve the desired purpose. So it improves. Uh, so you know you've, you've got this language agnostic format where, which uh, a enhances readability, um, meaning it is. Uh, obviously beneficial for collaboration if you um, have a team of developers who uh, may traditionally script using different languages um, and uh, 
the Logic Apps always comes with uh, a lot of inbuilt custom connectors to enable easy integration with um, other resources, uh, um, I think both internal and external, um, which uh, helps to expedite the development process. What is Azure Functions? How does it differ from Durable Functions? Azure Functions uh, follows a pay-as-you-go uh, event-driven model. Um, each Azure function that you create is uh, triggered by an event, meaning it will only run when there's an incoming event uh, matching the, device, the, the defined trigger. Um, so when there are no events to trigger functions, there is no running cost incurred. So Azure Functions is designed to offer a swift and efficient solution for executing these individual stateless functions at scale. So it, it sort of brings you back to how I was comparing the functions versus logic apps. Um, but durable functions uh, are sort of typically intended for greater workloads. Um, for example, if you need to introduce orchestration uh, to define sequences and conditional logic to process a substantial amount of data, durable functions is probably the better option. And uh, in that sense, um, you'd probably say durable functions is a bit closer on the spectrum to logic apps than it is to Azure functions. What is Azure API management and what scenarios benefit most from it? API management uh, does what it says on the tin really. It is um, Azure's solution for the creation, uh, deployment, hosting and the ongoing management of APIs. Uh, so it acts as a gateway that sits between your consumers and your backend services whether those are Azure components or artifacts uh, developed externally. Um, beyond this, it also offers uh, pretty robust security features, um, you know, authentication, authorization, and has uh, useful analytics and monitoring capabilities. Um, so as with other Azure services, it's fully managed, uh, meaning it scales automatically to handle varying volumes of traffic. API management can also prove particularly useful if you have uh, multiple backend services, um, you know, possibly spanning various platforms, possibly not. Um, and you need to present everything that you have as a unified uh, API to client applications. Um, for those wanting to track the performance of their API, the analytics and insights functionalities that I mentioned previously are uh, very handy. Um, while uh, within the work we've done at Shackrate, we've been known to plug existing APIs into um, an Azure API management solution simply to make use of its uh, easy to use security features. What is Azure Service Bus? Why is it good for handling large volumes of data? Service Bus is, uh, first first of all, Azure's enterprise message broker. Um, it features uh, both message queues and topics, which enable uh, pub-sub activity between applications. Um, so one of the key benefits um, of Service Bus uh, is the reliability that it offers. And Service Bus queues and top topics uh, offers the capability to process messages with uh, guaranteed order if required and at least once delivery rules in place, uh, which helps circum circumvent issues that might otherwise be posed by um, technical failures uh, that crop up uh, within your solution. This reliability is um, obviously an important factor when designing a solution to handle large volumes of messages. How does Azure Event Grid help with building event-driven architectures? Event Grid is um, Azure's message routing solution. Um, it provides an easy means through which to um, publish events uh, to and ingest events from uh, an event grid topic, be it through other Azure services such as uh, Logic Apps or Azure Functions or external services or custom applications. Um, the biggest advantage of this is that it facilitates the decoupling of components, uh, which is essential for any event-driven application. 
for some of the work that we've carried out at Chakra, this has been crucial as we often have uh, multiple services uh, that need to react to uh, a single event that's being sent out. Thank you, Sam, for bringing your knowledge to this talk. We hope you learned some exciting new things about Azure Integration Services after listening to our conversation. Hopefully, this will kickstart your journey with the technology. If you have any more questions about this suite of tools that need answering, make sure to check out www.chakray.com. And as always, thanks for tuning in.